okay we are given a problem where f of x f of x plus 3 all over x minus 3 is equal to x squared plus 6x plus 9 divided by 12x or divided by 12x now we are asked to find f of x now for us to do this we now for us to do let me just write it down here you see x f of x plus 3 divided by x minus 3 is equal to x squared plus 6x plus 9 divided by 12x now and we're asked to find f of x now for, for us to do that let's assume the whole of this x p so we say p is equal to x plus 3 divided by x minus 3 now let's make x the subject of the subject of formula so now we, well, let's now multiply both sides by what x minus 3 So if we multiply both sides by x minus 3, this x minus 3 will cancel out here. Now we now have x minus 3 times p is equal to x plus 3. Now open up the bracket, you have p times x minus 3p is equal to x plus 3. Now we now need to move the like terms. Now what we're going to do now, we'll move the x to this side and move the 3p to this side. We assume that x is a variable in this case because we're looking for x. We want to make x the subject of formula. So now you now have px minus x because as this x goes to this side, it becomes minus. As minus 3 goes to this side, it becomes plus 3. Then it becomes plus 3p so you will now have this so the whole of this if you the x is common on the left hand side so you have x into p minus 1 and then 3 is common you have 3 into p plus 1 so that means if we divide both side by p minus 1 you now have our x to be equal to this this we cancel on this you have x to be equal to 3 into p plus 1 all divided by p minus 1 now let's look for x plus 3 now if you what we're going to do to do for x plus 3 we, on this equation let's say let me call this equation 1 you add, add plus 3 to both sides if you add plus 3 here Then also add plus 3 here. Now what we're going to do is we want to make the denominator the same. So we'll just say 3 into p plus 1 divided by p minus 1 plus 3 into p minus 1 divided by p minus 1. The whole of this is t3. So now when I have now, I haven't gotten this, the, 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 numerate, the denominators are the same, so you add the numerators. So we have 3p, 3 into, into p plus 1, plus 3 into p minus 1, divided by p minus 1. So we now have, if you open up this bracket, you have 3, if you open up this bracket, you have 3p plus 3. Then this one, if you open up this one, have plus 3p minus 3 divided by p minus 1. So this will cancel out this. You have 6p divided by p minus 1. So this is what we get as x plus 3. Say equation. Equation 2. This is our equation 2. Now let's look at the, the function. The function now, we have x plus 3 all over x minus 3 
equal to equal to x square plus 6x plus 9 divided by 12x so this is the same thing as saying now if you factor out this one what are the product the factors of 9 that when you sum them up it gives you um, 6 is 3 times 3 so you now have x into x now you have plus 3 plus 3 so with this you can get this so now you are here you have 12 x so now i can now add plus 36 minus 36 to still give me this so i want a situation where i will have x plus 3 here too now that is why i now said 3 times 12 will give me what 36 so now i add that 36 minus that 36 so what i will now have i will now have here x plus 3 square divided by this will now be 12 into x plus 3 minus 36 so the whole of this now is so the whole of this now is we, from equation 2 we have x plus 3 to be equal to 6p all over p minus 1 so substituting that equation here substituting that here now okay let me just do that let me just say that now let me just say substituting substituting x plus 3 equal to 6p minus 6p divided by p minus 1 let me call this equation 3 into equation 3 now if we substitute this into equation 3 you now have now and this the whole of this is equal to p from here is equal to p so we say let p be equal to this so now that means f of p will now be equal to the whole of this which is 6p divided by p minus 1 all squared divided by 12 into 6p divided by p minus 1 minus 36 so we now have 6p divided by p minus 1 all squared divided by now we now have this we have 12 into 6p divided by p minus 1 now this 36 is the same thing as saying 36 times p minus 1 divided by p minus 1 so the same thing so we just we, we, now, we can now express it like this so it's just the same thing now let's go back to the next page we have f of p is equal to 6p divided by p minus 1 all squared all divided by now since the numerators are the same we add the sorry since the denominators are the same we add the numerators so now so we have 12 times 6p divided by p minus 1 minus 36 into p minus 1 all over p minus 1 so now we now have 6p all over p minus 1 all squared divide by this will now give you p minus 1 all over 6 times 12 will give us 72 p then you have minus 36 p plus 36 so with this we now have 6p divided by p minus 1 all squared divided by 72p minus 36p will give you 36p plus 36 
divide by p minus 1. So this is the same thing as 6p divided by p minus 1 all squared divided by this will now give you 36. 36 is common here, so now this will give you 36 into p plus 1 all divided by p minus 1. So d the whole of this now will now be f of p is equal to 6p divided by p minus 1 all squared times the whole of this now will now be p minus 1 all divided by 36 p plus 1 because this is dividing the whole of this so if you want to multiply it you reverse you reverse this so that is what i did i reversed it so now that means we have 6p all squared divided by p minus 1 all squared times p minus 1 all over 36 p plus 1 so this will cancel at one of this here you have this to be equal to 36 p squared divided the whole of this is 36 p squared divided by p minus 1 times because there is only one p minus 1 here now so p minus 1 times p plus 1 times 36 so this 36 will cancel out you now have p squared all over p minus 1 times p plus 1 this is the same thing as saying p squared divided by p squared minus 1 so that is the final answer so f of p is equal to p squared divided by p squared minus 1 so that means f of x is equal to x squared divided by x squared minus 1 now let's let's verify let's verify now the first the question is f of x plus 3 divided by x minus 3 is equal to x square plus 4 x plus 9 divided by sorry plus 6 plus 6 x divided by 12 x so now let x be equal to 4 now if we put x equal to 4 here we will now have f of 7 because 4, 4 plus 3 is 7 4 minus 3 is 1 so this the whole of this is f of 7 so we now add 4 here 4 4 here will give you 16 plus 4 here will give you 24 plus 9 divided by 4 times 12 will give you 48 so this will now be 16 plus 16 plus 24 will give you this is 0 this is 40 plus 9 this is 49 divided by 48 so now let's look at this function function of x is equal to x squared divided by x minus x squared minus 1 now with this function if you say f is equal to now let's say x is equal to 7 now in this function so f f of 7 will now be 7 square divided by 7 square minus 1 so which is 49 divided by this is 49 minus 1 which is 48 so you see they are the same so this is the final answer thank you for watching to the end if you like it please subscribe to my channel and hit the notification bell thank you